Hello again and welcome to the Friday Wrap for February 5th. I'm filming uh, this week from Eureka College, actually from the Ronald Reagan Museum, which is actually the only museum uh, at, uh, for Ronald Reagan uh, outside of uh, Simi Valley, California. More on that later. Uh, it was a very busy week around, this, around the village, but I want to catch up one thing that happened last week, and that was we, we had a Veterans Memorial Committee meeting uh, that was held at Village Hall uh, the week Wednesday before last, uh, mainly to start planning the Armed Forces Day event that is, uh, is going to be on, on May 16th, so be sure to put that on your calendar. Uh, this week, uh, I, had a, I had a neat, uh, neat uh, invitation from a Burridge resident, uh, Zach Model, uh, to get a tour of Atlas Tool Works. You know, it was really amazing. You can tell by the pictures uh, some of the things that we did around the building that, he, that his company does. Uh, and it was so impressive to see all the things they do, from everything from coat racks uh, to components and devices for, for, for uh, launching rockets, as well as uh, on airplanes around the country. It was so impressive. I just had to post some pictures about it and tell the residents about it. Uh, and Zach is, a, is such a proponent of, uh, of keeping up uh, uh, domestic manufacturing. Uh, in the United States, or as good as a state in the, in the country, uh, that he's actually very involved in other, other associations, including uh, the TMA, which is a Technology and Manufacturing Association. Very impressive. If you ever get a chance, say hello to him and try to get a tour of that place. Uh, this week, also, we had a, a, uh, the uh, Homeowner Association from Fieldstone uh, had, a, had their regular meeting at the Village Hall. Uh, they, had, uh, they had asked uh, Chief uh, John Madden uh, to come over. Uh, he made a a nice presentation about the new uh, surveillance cameras uh, that are, are very, getting increasingly popular around the village in many subdivisions, as well as a list of crime prevention tips. Uh, that was neat. And uh, by the way, once he's done with that list, I'll be sure to get that out to, to the residents. In addition, this week I met with the, uh, the Illinois, Illinois Tollway. I came in and made a presentation. Uh, it was, it was uh, by Ryan Anderson, a project associate and uh, consultant for the Illinois Tollway all about the new projects on the, on the Tri-State Central Tollway portion going from Balmoral Avenue all the way down 95th Street. And he talked about the project, the timeline, uh, next steps, how it would affect the village, getting input. It was, it was fantastic. Uh, that meeting was attended also uh, by Steve Stricker, Doug Pollock, uh, Dave, David Preissig, and Matt Russian, who, uh, who uh, runs the Pleasant Dale Park District. Uh, that was a great, uh, great meeting. We appreciated their, their uh, coming to us and asking us for some input and some advice uh, regarding the, uh, the expansion of the Illinois Tollway. Uh, in addition, this week, uh, it was a, uh, uh, as I mentioned, it was very busy around the village. Uh, we had, um, you look at my little cheat sheet, because it was, it was pretty crazy. Uh, we ended up having a, uh, uh, the, oh, the Chamber of Commerce meeting. Uh, I think it was over at the Marriott. That was also exceptional. Uh, they had a, um, uh, that was kind of neat. From the picture, you could tell they had a, network, a networking exercise where people actually sat across from each other had 60 seconds to give to explain their business to the to the person across from them and, and then switch seats, kind of like speed dating. Uh, it was it was unique. Everybody got to, got to practice their own uh, little elevator elevator pitch. Uh, that was also exciting. Also in that picture, you'll see uh, Trustee Paula Murphy, who made a presentation about the uh, about the upcoming 5K uh, run by RightFit and uh, the sponsorship opportunities. That was uh, also uh, well received and well attended. Uh, there are a couple pictures you'll see down there that have to do with uh, Starbucks. Boy, that place, that place gets, gets rocking on Sunday. Uh, as a matter of fact, I, I, I've always, I really hope that they finally uh, decide to expand or perhaps even open up another, uh, maybe a satellite location in or around the Farber's Bookstore uh, down in the Village Center uh, because that place gets, gets packed even during the week, of course, but especially on Sunday. Uh, you can also see the Burridge newsletter is coming out. Uh, it's actually pictured down below. Uh, but be sure to look out for that. A lot of updates about the, what's going on around the village, uh, as well as uh, the reaccreditation uh, by our wonderful police department uh, for, for, for Kalia. That'll be coming up. One last thing, I'm about to go to the, go to the uh, birthday dinner for, for Ronald Reagan, and as I'm going to ask the, the uh, young lady that's uh, handling, handling the camera to give a little fan of the, of this museum, uh, to give you a little, a little plug for Eureka College and the Ronald Reagan Museum. You can see it's, uh, it's rather, rather huge. They have over a thousand pieces of memorabilia. I'll step out of the way uh, down here, and it's just a, it's one of the wealthiest tools uh, around the, around the state. And if you ever get a chance, be, be sure to come down here. It's just a it is amazing what's down here. And maybe sometimes, you know, we have naked diamonds in our own backyard. Don't always know it's there. Thanks again for joining me for the, for the Friday wrap. 
and uh, look forward to talking to you again next week.